you know, there haven't been many updates to this system. Uh, the only ones I can really think about are, is this open access idea. So the biggest one being PL PLOS or PLOS One uh, from the Public Library of Science. In a way, it, it sort of democratizes at least access. Now, your solution, QED, it democratizes access to review, which is absolutely fantastic. And there have been very few, I would say, tangible um, solutions that AI has produced as of yet. You know, we don't have AI that's solving physics or solving engineering on an appreciable level. And that's not what you're doing here, but you are you are offering a solution to a very big problem. So what we're doing is not we're not writing the papers paper for you. We're not doing the science for you. There are many companies trying to do AI scientists also trying to do AI, even that write papers. This is not us at all. We don't generate. We give you feedback on your own work. And this is the important part and kind of neutralizes some of the concern regarding AI hallucinations and things like yes. that. At the end, you're getting feedback. And of course, we try to minimize. And I think we could do a good job at minimizing hallucinations anyway. There are barely any. But in any case, you're only getting feedback on the work, on your ideas and the work that you generate. And, uh, and the idea behind QED is to give you feedback that will help you publish uh, your work, publish better, better science, uh, uh, highlight your weak points and your strengths as well. What we do is we take a paper and we first of all strip it out of uh, any science of identity so we remove your name your affiliation so it will be judged based on its merit and we break it into claims and the claims are the the things that you claim that you have found in your paper we deal with research papers at the moment and uh, not uh, reviews uh, for now at least and then uh, we arrange these claims on a logical tree and we show which claims you've made how this, the claims are connected the sub claims and so on and, and we also, for each claim, uh, look for gaps in the logic. Possible problems, for example, missing controls, uh, weak arguments, contradictions with the literature, um, statistical problems. 